Hey everybody, Bill Zach here, Director of Legal Operations with the Second Amendment Foundation. Breaking news today out of the United States Supreme Court, and a rare instance of a unanimous decision in support of gun rights. The case was brought by one of the nation's major gun rights organizations against Maria Vulo, the former superintendent of New York's Department of Financial Services, alleging that Ms. Vulo had violated the group's First Amendment rights, alleging that she had pushed financial firms to deny the gun group services because of its pro-gun rights advocacy. In a unanimous decision, the court held that the gun group had plausibly argued that its First Amendment rights had been violated, reversing the Second Circuit opinion which had dismissed the case. The decision now sends the matter back to the Second Circuit for reconsideration. In the opinion, Justice Sotomayor wrote, quote, Government officials cannot attempt to coerce private parties in order to punish or suppress views that the government disfavors. Vulo was free to criticize the NRA and pursue the conceded violations of New York insurance law. She could not wield her power, however, to threaten enforcement actions against regulated entities in order to punish or suppress the NRA's gun promotion advocacy. Because the complaint plausibly alleges that Vulo did just that, the court holds that the NRA stated a First Amendment violation, unquote. Stay tuned to the SAF social media, as well as to the new and improved SAF.org to keep up to date on this case, as well as the 50 plus pieces of active litigation your SAF legal team is involved in on your behalf. I'm Bill Sack, Director of Legal Operations with the Second Amendment Foundation.